शिष्य आनंद मई मात की जय वेन एवर यू हैव द चांस लाफ एज मच एज यू कैन बाय दिस ऑल द रिजिट नॉट्स इन योर बॉडी विल बी लूजन बट टू लाफ superficially is not enough your whole being must be united in laughter both outwardly and inwardly do you know what this kind of laughter is like you simply shake with merriment from head to foot so that one cannot tell which part of your body is most affected what you usually do is to laugh with your mouth while your mind and emotions are not involved but i want you to laugh with your whole countenance with your whole heart and soul with all the breath of your life in order to be able to laugh in this way you must have implicit faith in the power of the self and try to bring the outer and the inner parts of your being into perfect harmony do not multiply your needs nor give way to the sense of want but live a life of spotless purity making the interests of others your own seek refuge at his feet in total surrender you will then see how the laughter that flows from such a heart defeats the world each of the five fingers of the hand has its own peculiarity each part of the body has its own function high or low the teeth may at times well bite the tongue but since the whole of it is your own body you accept all its ways and take great pains to look after every part of it in the same manner try to regard as your own every person you contact by making this a habit you will in due course come to feel that everyone in the universe is part of you to abolish the distinction between i and you is the sole purpose of all spiritual endeavor by degrees reduce all external diversions such as going to see people and superficial conversation otherwise these will become obstacles on your way to god realization the one resides in the sanctuary of your heart if your sight and hearing are turned outward how can you become aware of his presence real worship is of the heart outer rites and ceremonies are only a small part of it as a mother fondles her ailing baby in her lap so have we in the initial stages of our sadhana to hug the divine close to our breast as we would do with a sick infant if at the time of prayer and meditation you are unable to calm yourself and to forget your worldly activities and cares you will not get any living experience of god just as when listening at the telephone you focus your attention wholly on hearing so also when you meditate must you rally all your senses to one point in order to intensify your power of concentration man is the image of god to be born in a human body is the highest type of birth nowhere in the world can be found 
such a wealth of hidden treasures as in the domain of the human mind like a pearl diver one has to plunge into the inmost depths of one's being and be at work day and night in the quest of those precious jewels kindle the inner flame and let it illumine your life and the world this is the supreme purpose of human striving shri shri anandamayi mat ki jai